Hello everybody, this is Pun Frugal Streamer. I got a killer video for you today. This is a Melt Studio video. Uh, this is one that is a little different. It's a little out of the box, but it's gonna give you a capability that Melt Studio yet supports. But you can still do it doing some workarounds and that is NDI. Now, you know I'm a fan of NDI, I love NDI, but Unfortunately, Melt Studio, as of the current build, does not support NDI natively. But with NDI tools and a couple of the apps within NDI tools that you can download for free, link in the description below. Go to the description and get that link after the video. With that link, you can download NDI tools. And from there, you can use a couple of the apps to control cameras or control your gameplay uh, video to your stream PC and then display it inside of Mild Studio without the NDI support, which is really nice. And this really works for any app that uses a webcam for a video capture. So anything that you can display those on like Discord or Zoom. But I wanna show you how you can set this up and use cameras. And I've got three NDI cameras that I'm currently live, including my tail air that's NDI right now. And I've got a camera up here that you can't see and I've got a camera over here that you can't see. And I'll also show you gameplay that you can stream right into your PC. And so there you go. If you don't have a video capture, but you want to use Melt Studio, well, guess what? You can now use your NDI uh, workflow to do that. So let's go now and get into the video. All right, everybody. So the first thing that you're going to do to get this going is you're going to need to download and install NDI tools. Now, most people that are using NDI probably already have this anyway, but it is a free tool. NDI 6 is the latest version. You go to NDI's website, link down in the description and you can install that onto your Windows PC. And that'll give you a plethora of apps, including three that you're gonna to wanna to use depending on your situation. Two that I will show you right now, one is called Webcam, the other one is called Screen Capture HX, okay? So once you do that, then it is literally a matter of setting up those apps. So what you can do is you can go and do a search for Webcam right and once you have that running it'll run in the background but this is what the ui looks like all right so i have four video sources that i can use as webcams simultaneously within uh windows i've got three cameras set up right here and then a fourth i have actually set up to my desktop audio but by going in and clicking this little gear you can select any ndi source that is showing up on your network Okay, and by selecting that, it is now essentially a webcam in Windows. Okay, so we have all three of our my NDI source cameras coming in right here. I've got a VM33 from Nearstream. I've got the Mevo Start, it's the top down shot camera, and then I've got Obsbot Tail Air right here. All right, all three NDI cameras feeding simultaneously at the same time. And then just to show you how you can add this, is I will add a video device layer inside of Meld Studio, and I will choose NDI Webcam Video 4. You have all four here, and four is the one that I set up for gameplay, right? And this is the Screen Capture HX plugin that is capturing my game PC and sending that over to the stream PC. So you have those options that you can use in NDI to, and bring that into Meld Studio. It's there for you to use. It's a really nice feature. and the gameplay, surprisingly, is really good compared to a capture card. I've got some footage right here that shows a comparison in quality between the NDI and my capture card working together to capture Battlefield 2042 when I was playing it on the stream last night. And other than you can see a little bit of difference in, in the latency and the timing between those two clips, NDI being on the left and the capture card being on the right, Quality wise, they're very close to each other. Obviously the capture card is a little bit better, but for somebody that doesn't have a capture card and you're looking for a free way to capture your gameplay and do that using Mild Studio, this is a viable option that you can use. So that is really it though. Super easy to set up. So go out there, download the NDI tools. Uh, it is a good workaround while we wait for the uh, developers of Mild Studio to give native NDI support inside of the Mild Studio app itself which I'm hoping comes really soon. Listen, if you love videos like this, then I would 
beg you to subscribe to the channel. A lot of you do not subscribe and you watch my current content all the time, but you don't subscribe. I would love for you to be part of the community, join my discord, do all that and know when I have a video that goes live. So please subscribe, like the video, comment below. Let me know what you're, what you think about this and uh, how you think it would work for your own, uh, you know, workflow. I'm glad that I, I, I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. It's a great way for a lot of people that don't have capture cards and want to use even mobile devices and stream NDI to your uh, Meld Studio. It's a great way to do it using the NDI tools. So anyway, that is it, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.